going to be the kids that you read about in textbooks. Not because we are going to be another statistic about mass shootings in America, but because, as just as David said, we are going to be the last mass shooting. Just like, just like Tinker v. Des Moines, we are going to change the law. That's going to be Marjorie Stoneman Douglas in that textbook, and it's all going to be due to the tireless effort of the school board, the faculty members, the family members, and most importantly, the students. The students. The students who are dead, the students still in the hospital, the students who are now suffering from PTSD, the students who had panic attacks during the vigil because the helicopters who wouldn't leave us alone, hovering over the school 24 hours a day. There has been one tweet that I would like to call attention to. So many signs that the Florida shooter was mentally disturbed, even expelled for bad and erratic behavior. Neighbors and classmates knew he was a big problem, must always report such instances to authorities again and again. We did, time and time again. Since he was in middle school, it was no surprise to anyone who knew him to hear that he was the shooter. Those talking about how we should have not ostracized him, you didn't know this kid! Okay, we did! We know that they are claiming that there are mental health issues, and I am not a psychologist, but we need to pay attention to the fact that this isn't just a mental health issue. He wouldn't have harmed that many students with a knife! And how about we stop blaming the victims for something that was the shooter's fault? the guns in the first place, those at the gun shows, the people who encouraged him to buy accessories for his guns to make them fully automatic, the people who didn't take them away from him when they knew that he expressed homicidal tendencies, and I am not talking about the FBI, I am talking about the people that he lived with, I'm talking about the neighbors who saw him outside holding guns. If the president wants to come up to me and tell me to my face that it was a terrible tragedy and how it should never have happened and maintain telling us how nothing is going to be done about it, I'm going to happily ask him how much money he received from the National Rifle Association.
President Trump repealed an Obama-era regulation that would have made it easier to block the sale of firearms to people with certain mental illnesses. From the interactions that I had had with the shooter before the shooting and the information that I currently know about him, I don't really know if he was mentally ill, but I still, I, I wrote this before I heard what Delaney said. Delaney said that he was diagnosed. I don't need a psychologist, and I don't need to be a psychologist to know that repealing that regulation was a really dumb idea. Yeah. Republican Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa was the sole sponsor on this bill that stops the FBI from performing background checks on people adjudicated to be mentally ill, and now he's stating for the record, well, it's a shame that the FBI isn't doing background checks on these mentally ill people. Well, duh, you took that opportunity away last year. <laughs> the people in the government who were voted into power are lying to us, and us kids seem to be the only ones who notice and are prepared to call BS. Companies trying to make caricatures of the teenagers nowadays, saying that all we are is self-involved and trend-obsessed, and they hush us into submissions when our message doesn't reach the ears of the nation, we are prepared to call BS. Politicians! Politicians who sit in their gilded house and senate seats funded by the NRA telling us nothing could have ever been done to prevent this, we call BS! We say that tough they say that tougher gun laws do not decrease gun violence. We call BS. They say a good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun. We call BS. They say guns are just tools like knives and are as dangerous as cars. We call BS. No, they say that no laws could have been able to prevent the hundreds of senseless tragedies that have occurred. We call BS that us kids don't know what we're talking about, that we're too young to understand how the government works. We call BS. If you agree, register to vote. Contact your local congresspeople.